All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, I got an okay night's sleep last night. But uh, fortunately, I wound up caving and uh, had a little snack with the potato chips. So not surprisingly, I only got like six and a half hours of sleep. Six, you know, not not the best, but <clears throat> if I keep doing that, you know, obviously I'm gonna get sick again. It's like. Uh, but with that being said, yeah, I'm starting to kind of lose weight, but I'm still stuck at the damn 170.6 uh, pounds range, so I'm not quite sure what the hell's going on, but, uh, you know, I'll keep working at it. Um, but, uh, with that being said, uh, before we start, yeah, I mean, I mean, it was already at minus 13, now it's at 14. I mean, at this point, Trump's gonna basically have like a 0% chance to win this election. It's like, it's like hilarious almost. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to try and see how I can piss off some more uh, idiots on um, my Twitter. I'm just going to just call it. I'm going to call it right now. Joe Biden's going to be president. It's pretty obvious that like, Trump's just not going to do what he needs to do. So, <clears throat> I mean, even if he starts doing what he start, needs to do, I mean, five months is a long time, but we're talking about Trump here. His ego is bigger than fucking Magnus Carlson. The only way to see the entirety of the, his, his of Trump's ego is to go to the International Space Station and then look down on uh, fucking planet Earth. Then then you'll see his uh, ego. All right. All right, so anyway, uh, I didn't do any research at all. Uh, I was just kind of playing Hades Star. I played a little League Dangerous yesterday. Problem is, it seemed like a very fun game. It definitely sounds and looks nice, but there's not much to do. It was on sale for like nine bucks, so it's like whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, it definitely just underscores the need for me to have my own game. And I just played my own game instead. But anyway, Bitcoin is at uh, eleven for this week, so uh, even less search interest uh, right now. Mark, everything's just tanking. It looks like even the Federal Reserve has had enough of Trump or something. So we'll take a look at that. Twenty four hour volume is uh, ninety one point three billion, so mostly probably from people just readjusting their portfolios, mostly dumping coins as well. Let's see, Remel got raped in the ass uh, without its consent, as usual. Uh, but you know, at least when things do stabilize, at least things will go back up. That's the thing. Now, now that Joe Biden's gonna be president, I mean, I'm not quite sure what that's gonna do with the economy, man. Bitcoin's at ninety six fifty eight. Uh, Litecoin's at 45.58. Uh, blah, blah. Yeah, I went over that. Dogcoin is at uh, 317.5 million market cap. Um, Hive, 25.2 cents, so not too bad. 21.41 cents for Steam. So it's about, eh, so it's about uh, same old, same old. So at least, luckily, crypto's been holding pretty strong. Uh, I definitely want to know what has actually happened with this thing. <clears throat> Unproven COVID goods. What does that mean? Oh, okay. So it's just the EPA just saying, hey, stop selling products that could be considered scams. Elon Musk weighs in Tesla stock. Yeah, I at least want to see what his Twitter uh, is saying. Have he said anything? Okay. Uh, how? I mean, Elon. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling a little groggy because I also took. I ch like when I woke up at like seven a.m. I chugged another melatonin pill, and then I think it's actually having an effect on me now. So instead of having a large amount of energy now, I'm just groggy. <laughs> but um, I, I tried going to sleep, but. Uh, it, it didn't work, so, yeah. Anyway, Elon Musk sways in on Tesla. Oh, yeah, I already read that. So, yeah, I mean, Elon Musk, um, yeah, I mean, he kind of knows that stocks are bullshit, too, but, you know, obviously he still kind of cares about it. Feigned for defunding police. Uh, this is just the worst of this, uh, blah, 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 okay, so, um... U.S. virus king, swift market event, maybe more about what it didn't do rather than what it did, I don't know say. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Trump's going to be bitching about the Fed here, too. All right, anyway, uh, JMC coins at 6 to 8, not much here. I mean, everything just seems to be going down because of whatever, so. 4-4 four, four is now at 374, 380. Um, I don't know, it's, uh, it's been pretty light today, so it will probably still be at this price for at least a couple months. 
Because I feel fine, but it's just like this lingering cough is still annoying. Like, I don't even feel like... I don't even feel a little bit sick. Um, two by two is at 84, 85, so not much happened in there. Actually, did I send coins to my uh, accounts? Yes, I did. I also forgot to record. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, I'm supposed to do lift weights today, too. I biceps are a little sore. Ooh, excuse me. Compound coins at 5,050 and then uh, sells for 55.49. So, again, not much here. Uh, two subscribers. Have, actually, I think I think these two subscribers are actually well, the spam bots that were constantly spamming my comments. I mean, well, it was just it just said loved it, so it's like, eh, whatever. So, it's not too bad because I haven't said anything different recently, so. Yeah, but anyway, uh, there it goes, so, yeah, as usual, but I, mean, I don't expect any growth anytime soon, since obviously I'm just covering Bitcoin, not really going with any of the other stuff. And then obviously I'm not going to spam or scam with the technical analysis bullshit to grow up my channel, like Tony Bays or any of the other so-called Bitcoin channels, which is kind of annoying, right? You know, it's like people are really looking for a solution, I give it to them, and then they just, they're like, nah, it's just... They're like, nah, that's just whatever. I'd rather just have the quick get rich quick scheme. And then they just lose all their money. And then what's worse is they lose all their time, too. What would you bring up for Bitcoin? Okay, I don't care about that. Scrape new car search, 5x and Mexican Spanish out corner wise ratings. Uh... Oh, chain, it's a new crypto. Right, I don't care about that. Crypto Shadow says major Bitcoin reversal income for okay. okay. U.S. current Bitcoin is a great store of value. Central bank printing has consequences. Where do yeah, well, but I mean, yeah, we kind of already know that. I mean, but it's good though. Uh, this Warren Davidson guy. Bitcoin pulls its sword second half of 2020. Says chief of financial end of the year. I mean, that's what we all expect. But you know, you're gonna have a different president most likely, and you're gonna have a bunch of other crazy shit happening. So I don't know, man. Uh, so far, Bitcoin is on track to do what it always does, but it could still be different this time, right? I mean, I just don't really know. I mean, again, I know that Bitcoin's going to skyrocket, I just don't know when it'll happen. Galaxy Digital Black Lottery, Glory Trade, Custody for High Net Worth, all Koi will unsee. Okay, so there's actually nothing. So there's actually nothing in terms of news, so it's actually just this Fed shit. All right, so this is actually with the uh, I don't really want to keep making this a thumbnail, but I mean we don't have anything else to really to work with. Um, okay, all right, so let's just uh, all right. So Trump's now down fourteen percent. Joe Biden's gonna be the president. I'm just gonna put it in my YouTube title. Fuck everybody. Uh, this retard's still praising cops and law and order, and that's why it's going to. Uh, hmm. Mass shooting. Uh, Trump rally, rebel flags in Tulsa. Oh, he's having a rally. Oh, so now Trump realizes, yeah, he's gonna have to start doing something. I, I, it's too late. It's too late. Uh, let's see. Blah blah. To carry around the White House, taking our Seattle, run my rally up there, of course, Law and Order. Oh yeah, that's the Seattle Autonomous Zone or whatever it was called. That's my Haiti star in the background. Uh, Western, but Bill China, here, here he is. He's still complaining about China. Like this is really the dumbest fucking thing. Look, he retweeted this on June 9th and it still doesn't get a lot of traction because we all know this is retarded. All right, most people know. Did China cause the riots? No. Did China order lockdown of America? No. Did China fucking? I don't know what else. What else have we been having problems with? Oh, is China ordering the people in America that are reopening against orders to go to jail? No, it's someone else. Like, this is just fucking retarded. Like, basically, I am seeing the actual future of the Republican Party and conservatives and whatever. They're all just going to just disappear, right? I mean, I was actually listening to... Uh... I would practice not mentioning his name anymore because it's time to just simply just pull the fuck back. It's like... 
he doesn't like crypto, right? The guy that, you know, the, the leader of the Groyper Uprising, so you know who I'm referring to. He doesn't like crypto. At least he didn't slam it too bad, but like, for a guy of his intelligence and creativity, I'm very disappointed, and he still doesn't get it yet. So, all right. And he and he knows that a lot of people on the right are getting banned and are accepting uh, Bitcoin crypto, so I don't understand why he can't see it. And number two, I still haven't gotten my t-shirts from him, so I'm out basically 50 bucks. But when I typed in his name plus scam, nothing comes up on Google, so apparently he will ship it to me. But, you know, the fact that he just doesn't respond to emails or even his employee, it's like... Like, this, this is like the future of the conservative movement. It's like, you know, you expect everyone to give you all this shit, and then you don't respond back. And it just goes back to the same problem, a lack of empathy, and then, therefore, a lack of creativity. And it's just like, it's just fucking annoying, man. It's just annoying. All right? Uh, let's see. Uh, what? So Trump's promoting his own fucking hotels. I mean, this is just fucking retarded. Like, just this is just so stupid. America is literally burning, and Trump's bragging about his own fucking hotel. Like, this is just... This is... Uh, like, the lack of empathy is really coming off. Like, how Trump just didn't give a shit about his own supporters. Now, he, it's, just, it's just clear that he just doesn't give a shit about America. That's, that's basically how Trump's coming off right now. And then... When Trump gets called out on it, he's like, oh, blame China, right? And it's pissing me off because a lot of the Republican Party seems to be really fucking got, you know, a dildo up their ass about China. And, like, it, like at this point, the karma is just so bad that the Republican Party deserves to lose. In fact, I'm probably just not even going to fucking vote this year. I mean, I mean, because in my case, it doesn't matter, right? So, and of course, if the Republicans are going to continue fucking slamming Chinese people, like, I'm just going to be like, fuck this shit, you know? Uh, so, alright, so let's take a look at the future president here, at the rate things are going, oh, that's the pin tweet, um, very proudly, once again, let's make this one, act. see, even though I'm not happy that he's doing, like, he's constantly hitting the racism angle or whatever, at least Joe Biden's trying to be inspirational, but you go to Trump's Twitter, how does this inspire inspiration, especially in a time when everything's fucking burning down around you, and you're the president, so you're, it's your responsibility to inspire hope and shit. Right, I don't want to sound like fucking asshole Obama, but at least, at least he did that. Right, that's why he was able to, you know, sucker enough people into voting for him. Right, and then he, you know, went on to do his thing. But of course, Trump's too stupid to even be able to do that. Apparently, Republicans are too stupid to do the same thing too. Uh, he's constantly in the racism angle. Uh, he's talking about doing stuff. Sorry, I'm not saying we're driving your name in a bad show. Class priority. Okay, so he's uh, he's at least proposing some kind of policy. Um, so, you know, just because you wanted to, Mr. Trump, step up and do your job before you're going to cause even more lines than it already has. Uh, outbreaks has spiked across again. Um, yeah, if I were Trump, and this was actually happening, I would already start talking about, hey, we have we have fake data. That's like, like Trump's really, like, Trump literally has all the cards in his hands, and he's literally just folding winning hands. All right. Hey, our has no our stakes are simply too high. So even Joe Biden's like, yeah, it's like, like, remember when Trump was running? He's like, yeah, don't believe the polls, all right? You know, just pretend we're even and then, keep, and then you know, all right, because, again, you don't get complacent. Well, Joe Biden's not getting complacent. Yeah, I mean, at this point, Joe must know. He must be way ahead of Trump at this point. I have a fight to follow. If I ever have a fixture, oh, God. That's uh, hate folks, really. Right? It's really racial right there. Right, just fixing the way of Randall and Hawks won't cut it. We need to rise and Joe Biden have a real shot to get ahead. Uh, blah blah blah. We never uh, we can uh, we probably do. Um, uh, what happened to any Jewish and racial assault? And then blah blah blah. Let's talk about uh, let's see. American Taliban. So I'm gonna assume uh, they're attacking white people here. Yes, they're attacking white people here. Yeah, okay. it's yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, play a guy in a city park. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, okay, so we got neo Nazis there. Protesters yanked down Christoph 
for Columbus statue outside of Star State Capitol, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so now they're back to blaming Muslim people, uh, uh, which is hilarious because nobody's even Muslim. Like, this is like this is the fucking problem with the Republicans. They're just fucking blaming... First of all, I can blame people because I'm precise and it's the exact right amount. That's the only time blaming someone is correct. And on number two, you have to, and that's, and that's only one component. The second component of blaming is you have to be, be able to tell people the truth and say, here's a solution, right? But the Republicans can't do that. They just simply blame people. I mean, Democrats are better at blaming people too, but at least they propose like fucking alternatives, even if they're shitty, retarded alternatives. The point is, it's better to propose a shitty alternative than no alternative, right? Because at least you could say, hey, at least I'm trying, all right? Yeah, it's a bad idea, but what are you fucking coming up with, all right? And then the other guy will have either a worse idea or no idea, and that makes you all, and that, makes, that allows you to keep winning. And the other people will look at that, and they'll be like, well, I mean, I don't like this guy's idea, but at least he's proposing something, so at least I know he's going, he, he seems open or she's open to, like, proposing something better for all of us, so maybe it's just a work in progress. So I'll go with that person. Right, and the problems just don't want to do that. They just don't want to do that. I mean, we're not going to do much cryptocurrency news because literally nothing's happening. But this is actually pretty important, right? Like, what happens in America is going to have a dramatic impact on crypto either way. So that's why we're going to be looking at it. All right, so let's let's take a look at what the Fed does. Uh, stock slid a lot. Uh, in which policymakers highlight ongoing cannot concerns spurred by the coronavirus and measure contain it. Um, okay. Uh, well, at least the jobless claims seem to be going now. Found the unemployment. So share, shares of companies that have been among the most set to benefit from easy selling so employment in our session of secret guy carries America to gel to drop in early trading. Yeah, I was thinking about buying airline stocks actually, because when because eventually they're probably going to transition into space flight, right? We're talking 10, 20, 30 years out, right? But I don't know, like. Tesla is so expensive. Like so it's a thousand dollars yesterday, and then I didn't check. What's the uh, what's the symbol for Tesla? Uh, come on. I see. I recently viewed Tesla, and it's not showing up here. TSLA. Yeah, it's still a thousand sixteen despite today's uh, tanking. <clears throat> crazy <coughs> but uh yeah i might have to just buy tesla for my space stocks i mean amazon could work too but um let's see amazon where was amazon it's 2655 in fact it's going up today crazy all right, anyway, stock slid. Uh, market on our side. Do, 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 do. Stairs of COVID have been almost set to bed from easing. So, oh, I read that. Uh, the FOMC summary of projections indicate the Fed expects a steep 6.5% contraction in real GDP in 2020. That's actually a shit ton. That's actually almost as bad, if not worse, than the 2008 recession. But an unemployment rate at 9.3%. That's actually pretty charitable, 9.3%. However, policy expectors, ex, ugh, policy makers expect real GDP to rebound by five percent in twenty twenty one, with the unemployment rate dropping to six point five percent. So the Fed's actually not being a bunch of f word assholes; they're actually sounding pretty legit here. I mean, six point five percent is still kind of a lot, though. But on the other hand, we did really close down a lot of shit. We put people in jail. And on top of that, globalists were really hard on for uh, screwing Trump over, which obviously worked. Uh, it would have failed if Trump wasn't such a fucking idiot, but uh, I think he's just moved away from God, just like a lot of Republicans have. Uh, I believe we call them Bible thumpers, like literal Bible thumpers. And, uh, you know, no, that's what's, what's going to happen. Like, maybe, like, I can usually tell if someone's a fake asshole based on how much they uh, rank on China, right? uh so it's it's just so irritating like i don't ask for much but it's like you can't even do the bare minimum it's like okay it's like you know are, are chinese people robbing you are, are they raping you are, are they burning down your cities right are they giving the orders to put you in jail for not opening your salon 
Uh, it's like, and the list goes on and on. And the answer is no to all of that. And that's why I get fucking pissed, right? If the answer is no to all of that, why are you spending 10, 20, 30%, if not almost all of your fucking time and attention on Twitter redirecting tens of millions of people, mostly Republicans and conservatives, to like fucking blaming somebody that's not even like at fault? Or, you know, <clears throat> I mean, at the least, you just blame them for coronavirus and then how they handle it, and that's it. It's just it's just so annoying, right? And you want to blame it for like, oh well, you know, they're taking a lot of jobs. Well, why aren't you blaming the American companies that are fucking outsourcing to them right now, right? And when they do anything, because they'll just they'll just outsource to Vietnam or Thailand or Russia or I don't know where or South Korea, right? Maybe Taiwan. What now? You want to get rid of those countries too? Like like the dis like what the dissident right website says. Like, people are just incapable of exercising freedom or critical thought in, in a democracy. It's all a scam. Just people are fucking dumb. In its monetary policy decision, uh, Fed projected interest rates would remain near zero through 2020. Okay. So, I don't know. Why are the markets down so much, then? The decision to keep rates on hold for the foreseeable future. Yeah, they're not even changing the rates. They're keeping it down. Okay, so people are just kind of nervous. Uh, so place over to warrior man next to me. That code was was dovish nonetheless. Dove, what? JP, the Fed kept interest rates steady, and the company for increased interest rate forecast dots and that rates are only maybe ten years over at least the next two and a half years. Yeah, because here's the thing: once Joe Biden's president, you know the Fed's gonna want to do stuff to keep Joe Biden in uh, in line. So uh, I mean, uh, keep keep him there, right? Because because they have to know that conservatives and Republican Party are going to get really fucking mad when Trump loses, and not just loses, but in a landslide. So, uh, yeah. So the Fed's going to be like, yeah, we kind of need to keep things stable. Also, I don't think Jerome Powell even likes Trump. Right? I think he's finally tolerating his presence at this point, but he really just doesn't like Trump. Moreover, it's unusual, you know, in expectation is only two prior expected area hikes by that time. All the dots are individual core and not committee sent. The usual lack of dispersion in those dots means it should be easier if we could agree to more forceful forward guidance at upcoming meetings. Uh, because I'm so tired, I can't I don't want to translate this Fed talk into Fed talk gibberish into actual English. Uh the usual lack of dispersion in those dots means it should be easier if we could agree on more forceful forward Okay, so they're talking about a dot on a graph, I think. And I don't know. Like it's basically saying it's all over the place. So if it's all over the place, then why would that make it easier to make a more hard decision going forward? You're not sure what's going on, so the best thing to do is to do nothing. Hmm, okay. Decision and subsequent press by a general shut off choppy trade and equities. And that's kind of the end of it. Okay, so today's actually a nothing news day. It just sounds, it's a lot of noise. It's a, literally a lot of noise. Okay, so so this actually, this headline's actually not correct. It's not the Fed decision. It's actually Fed economic forecasts. Um, if this Emily person wrote this headline, she kind of really fucked this up, she, uh, but... All right, well, it was mostly a fair article, so well, I'm getting in a lot of hydro. All right, works for me. I've been put I, because uh, in in the Haiti star, like the hydrogen is like your primary resource. If you without it, you can't. You literally cannot play the game. So what people do is uh, they steal hydrogen whenever we do the co-op mission called a red star. So there was this asshole from Brazil who uh, basically just played the minimum, just brought in miners and transports, contributed no combat, and then he basically leached off of all our hydrogen and effort while he expended minimum and got max rewards because rewards are shared essentially except hydrogen mining. So I decided to do the same thing and it's like working so well. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm spending so little hydrogen and everyone else, and so far no one's giving me shit about it. And the reason why I'm doing it is because people keep fucking stealing my hydrogen when I do all the clearing. So I'm like, all right, you know, you guys are gonna be F words. All right, you clear everything. I'll just take all this shit for free. Fuck you. <laughs> it works pretty, uh, pretty so well. So we'll see who we get. Oh wait, I clicked my chess thing. Like I'm starting to lose interest in, I mean, I kind of still interested in chess, but it's just like, I just got so much shit to do. I didn't even work on my video game yesterday. 
So, uh, you know, I gotta make sure I do a little bit of that work today. Actually, I am curious, who actually follows Joe Biden here? Uh, pretty much everyone. I mean, reporters will get an exception because obviously they go to the White House. Oh, that's the thing. OAN, well, OAN may even be banned from the White House. I mean, because, again, everyone's going to get banned after Joe Biden takes office. So, I mean, Joe Biden himself will be pretty cool, but it's everyone else around them that will not be cool. Okay. Uh, I. Okay. I can use some, I can use some sleep. That's interesting. Mike Cernovich does not follow uh, Joe Biden. Huh. That's, that's interesting. Now, what has Mike been up to? Oh, this thing still is holding all my old stuff here. Uh, I'm so sick and tired of seeing these stupid masks. Canada's pro Beijing for us. Two per hour with state run Bank of China. So, see, again, this is what I'm talking about. They're still <clears throat> hammering China. Yeah, Mike Sturridge has been really dogpiling China. I don't know what his fucking problem is. Uh, this guy is actually an anti-China shill, too. Like, he's actually an Antifa, right? But he's funded by the American government. So it's like, I'm just, like, so sick of this shit. Why do we fucking care about China in this case, right? America is burning. Uh, well, my heart is very kiss career. Where about so you know, have a check on our supply? That's just good stuff. Is a good job. Oh, man. <clears throat> um, I'm so this is his thing. Yeah, now I know why uh, the Groiper leader is getting really ang is getting more increasingly annoyed with uh, Mike Cernovich. This is literally. This is literally a really bad tweet. See, this is why I'm getting the fuck out of this. This is why I'm getting out of this shit completely. Like, the entire right-wing movement needs to be fucking dismantled and reformed. Uh, technically, I could actually lead it, but, I mean, at this point, I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to, because, A, I have to, like, overcome the whole, well, you're Chinese, so why should we listen to you, right? Not, normally, that's not even a problem, but with all this fucking anti-China shit, it's like, yeah. Zero I would rather quit their jobs, step aside for a person of color. This is like the one tweet that I've seen from Mike that talks about white people for the first time. Uh, and in a way, I could probably interpret this as another attack on white people. So, God. Uh, new, new, there's going to be a new lesson. Unless you're buying from like a big a big website, like Amazon or whatever, don't don't buy merch from anyone. I'm, like, the, the right is just cannot, like, they just... They have no empathy and they can't seem to fucking do logistics properly either. And then now they just want to blame China for, 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 for the problems. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, God, I'm very disappointed in Mike Cernovich, but yeah. There's there's a reason why I just stopped using Twitter and just stopped retweeting his shit. Actually, I'm uh before I actually end this video, how many people liked and retweeted the retweeted this shit? Six twelve point eight K. Um, so here's the problem. Once Joe Biden becomes president, his fault like a lot of the, a lot of these a lot of these right wing so called right wing people and right wing friendly people are going to grow their following so much. Uh, now that <clears throat> let's see. Now that be see first of all, it is true the Chinese controlling the supply chain is correct, but he's tying it in with the statues being torn out, which is also bullshit. Like Mike's really fucking everything up here. Uh, 1.1k, 325, uh, statues. Alright, I'm just curious. Let's see. Here's the problem. Mike might still be blocking people. Uh, okay. Okay, why should I be for an ancestor? Wait, what? These aren't his reports. God. Twitter fucking sucks so much. Uh, <clears throat> alright. Well, anyway, I guess it's not gonna matter. Um, I think I already read all of this, so, anyway, uh, yeah, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from where you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page, because, uh, when Joe Biden becomes president, um, well, I mean, you're gonna need to still make money, and the infinite game continues on, like Simon Sinek would always say.
And so will I. So will I. So anyway, uh, time for the day, obviously. I kind of want to take a nap. I also got to lift weights, but I'm just not feeling physically energetic. Probably because of that damn melatonin pill. So I don't know. Well, anyway, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. Wow, it's already been the end of this week. Really, I want to get my uh, merch. All right, see you all tomorrow. Thanks. Just a chant. JFC coin, 404 coin. Again, uh, markets wise, it all looks just like noise. Crypto is doing fine, right? It's down slightly despite what the hell's going on over here. Markets are basically, uh, well, I mean, the market's going to be down today, but it's just noise. I guess they're pricing in the fact that GDP is going to be going down further than expected. Uh, it may or may not be fake, uh, but the Federal Reserve at least did FOMC, right? Federal, the Federal Open Meeting Committee or whatever, something like that. They actually said that it's going to grow back by 5.1% in 2021. So, all right, you know, they're, they're like, because if they were trying to really lie about it, they would just say it's not going to grow back for a couple of years, and that's bullshit. So, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, so I wonder if this is why I'm also not getting my t-shirts from the Groiper leader. It's like everyone's got to make these fucking masks too, so that which would make sense. Oh well. Anyway, here's a thumbnail. See you all tomorrow. And oh, I already did my outro. So yeah, Joe Biden 14. I'm just going to write in my title. Joe Biden's going to be president. And everybody on the right seems to want to blame China. So it's, it's pretty obvious why this is going to work.